Hello everyone, this is Jack and this is a tomato plant from last year. It's spring here in California and I had this tomato plant growing inside my house all throughout the winter from last fall. And last fall I got a cutting of a tomato plant and then I rooted that cutting in water, planted it in a pot and it grew a plant out of it. Then I took a lot of cuttings from the suckers of that plant, I mean this plant, and actually grew a lot more tomato plants. So I have a lot of tomato plants ready to grow that have overwintered throughout the winter without growing from seed. And let me show you how I did it. Hello everyone, this is Jack and it's fall and it's end of the tomato season. So all my tomato plants have stopped producing. So I'll be taking few cuttings of these tomato plants and I will be overwintering them. I will be rooting these tomato cuttings in water inside my house. I want to preserve these tomato cuttings and then plant them in spring. And let's see if that works. Identify the sucker growing inside the main stem and the branch and cut the sucker. Make sure to get a cutting from indeterminate tomato. Or when tomatoes are done producing, just take cuttings from the plant. I chose an indeterminate cherry tomato for this experiment. After getting a nice cutting, remove extra branches from the bottom of the stem and also remove any extra growth leaving only 3 to 4 leaves on the stem. Put the stem in water and place the cutting next to a window that receives sun. Use filtered water if your water is chlorinated and make sure to change the water every 2-3 to three days. So after about a month the tomato plants will grow roots. Look at how high up the tomato roots are developing. So make sure the tomato stem is submerged really deep into the water for the roots to develop. Next inspect the health of the stem. Make sure there is no mold, fungus or disease in the roots. Also make sure that the leaves are healthy and the roots are clean. I'm using this makeshift plastic bottle scooper to dig a hole in the pot and then I'm placing the newly rooted tomato stem in the pot. Gently cover the roots with soil and then water the newly planted cutting generously. Make sure the soil does not run dry for at least one month. The newly rooted tomato plant is ready. The weather is getting really cold so I kept the tomato plant inside the house next to a window. I removed the dead leaves from the bottom of the plant to keep the plant clean. The plant continues to grow. After another month, the plant is about 18 inches tall. I also staked and provided support to the plant. After another month, the original plant on the right is about 2.5 feet tall. I also started a couple of more tomato plants on the left as well. I suspended strings from the top and weaved the tomato plants to grow straight and tall. The tomato plant is producing lots of flowers and after a couple of weeks, I started to get tomatoes. After 4 months since taking cutting in fall, the tomato plant is producing a lot of tomatoes. I really enjoyed harvesting tomatoes during winter. The tomato plant is also producing a lot of suckers, so I cut the suckers right off the tomato plant. I'll be using these suckers to root more tomato plants. Like earlier, I took the bottom leaves off of the sucker to get the stem ready for rooting in water. I then place the cutting in water. I did the same with more suckers as they grew throughout the winter. After another month, the stems of tomato plants grew a lot of roots. Check out these beautiful cuttings that actually grew really nice roots. These are all suckers of the original tomato plants and look at these beautiful plants that grew out of it. They have really healthy roots and they are ready to be planted right in the garden. I dig a hole in the ground and then planted the newly rooted tomato in my garden. I did the same for all newly rooted tomato plants. I then watered the newly planted tomato plants very generously. It's spring here in California and I had this plant overwintering in my house all throughout the winter from last fall. And now it's time to transplant this original tomato plant in my garden. I dug really deep to take all the roots out with the plant. I gently scooped the plant out of the container and voila, look at all of this root ball that came out very nicely. I then laid down the tomato plant and buried about a foot of stem by covering the stem in soil so that the plant grows a lot more roots and can intake a lot more nutrients. I added some compost and covered the tomato plant with soil. 
I then placed a long stake next to the plant. This is an indeterminate cherry tomato plant that will grow really large, so I want to be prepared for that. I then strung the tomato plant with pure cotton string and then tied the string to the stake. The tomato plant has been planted and it is already two feet tall with about foot and a half of root mass. I watered the tomato plant well, keeping in mind that the root is all behind the tomato plant. And now it is time to harvest the first fruit of the season. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I didn't even know this was going to work and surprisingly it did. And I hope you try this at your home this fall so you can have tomato plants next year ready to grow in spring. And I'll see you in another video.